We spent three solid months renovating our home after receiving the keys last September. The house was empty after we bought it and I'd quit my job to be a stay at home dad while Jade was still on maternity leave. So we took the opportunity to renovate the place before moving house in December. We had some help here and there but it was mostly just Jade and myself. I didn't capture a lot of the renos on camera, but now that things have slowed down, I want to try to document the second stage of the build. The TV shelving setup we had planned wasn't a priority at the time, so we may do with these topless cabinets with a board sitting on them. The timber battens we'd put up to reinforce the shelves we had planned didn't quite provide the atmosphere we wanted long term. So between looking after my son and organising other projects, I've been negotiating a design with the missus and acquiring materials to finish off the shelving around the TV. We had the big black panels and lower cabinets cut when we ordered the kitchen and wardrobes, but we always had it in mind that we'd make the bench tops and shelves ourselves from real timber. The big green box down the road offers laminated timber panels in a variety of sizes so we thought we'd try making the shelves from one or more of them. We made a false start on the project to get the space looking presentable for our son's first birthday, but we weren't really happy with the colour or the finish on the timber so decided to start over before making the upper shelves. We agreed that the shelving should be a timber grain with a low gloss finish and ended up settling on this beach laminated panel that we thought would go with the flooring. I was hoping to sand back and reuse the panels we already had but they're currently unavailable anywhere in the country so we wouldn't have been able to match the shelves. We found these steel brackets that we thought looked pretty good and decided to use them to hang the shelves from the top rather than support them from underneath. In this orientation, we think they look great and can act as a bookend for our books and possibly also for these old-timey moving picture discs we have. I got busy ripping the panels to width on the table saw, chopping off the excess with the circular saw, and then cutting to length with the drop saw. All in, we used three beach panels to create the three lower bench tops and the eight upper shelves. I rounded the top and corner edges with a 5mm roundover bit in the palm router. Then put a 2mm chamfer on the lower edges to get rid of any sharpness. The beach needed a good sanding before the oil could be applied. I tried to sand out the burn marks that the saw left, but for some of them I had to resort to the orbital sander. I probably should replace the saw blade to prevent that happening. Any chips or holes I found I classed as character and moved on with my life. I chose this Scandinavian oil for the finish since it wouldn't be too shiny and it's enough protection for indoor timber shelves. I tried wiping it on with a cloth, which I'd never done before, and I found it much more bearable than painting with a brush or roller. I really hate painting. I finished the first coat on the Saturday and coated them all again on Sunday, giving them the 8 hours the oil needs between coats. I set up this jig to ensure the brackets would be square, using a beach offcut and some old shelf brackets I had. I then used the scientifically determined distance of one screw head to set the shelves out from the proxy wall surface. The maximum width I could make the shelves was 200mm, which was also the bracket width. So with the rounded front edge, they needed to be set back slightly so as not to overhang the front of the shelf. I set the brackets in from each edge using the width of a 19mm offcut as a guide. The 
the two long shelves then received another bracket in the centre. The whole process was made much more enjoyable working in the new shed. adding an extra hole to the brackets to receive another screw for extra strength and also because I broke a couple of screws off in the timber. Installing the new shelves and bench tops required the removal of the TV. This sneaky little shelf that hides the DVD player. and the TV bracket. Before removing the big black panels and the practice bench tops, the new centre bench top needed to be notched to fit between the two outer back panels. So I marked the width with the panels still in place. After removing three of the panels, marked the depth of cut. Then I went ahead and removed the remaining panel and the practice bench tops. I'm sure I'll find a use for these slabs of timber sometime in the future. Then I took the new bench top back out to the shed and cut those notches. In my haste, I forgot to tape over the finished surface, but luckily the marks from the jigsaw were easily wiped away, and they'd mostly be hidden anyway. Pretty ugly. Then I went ahead and whacked in the new bench tops. I temporarily installed the left rear panel on the wall to help line up the center bench top. The tops are screwed from underneath in the same way that a Laminex bench top would be in a kitchen, using these little plastic nubbins. Once they were all screwed in, I cut some length of tape to mark out where the battens would be behind the rear panels. Panels were then put in place with a single screw and then their positions had to be fine tuned to compensate for the cabinets being slightly out of level. This left the panel on the left side slightly lower than the rest, but I'm going to class it as character and move on with my life. No one's noticed it yet anyway. To get the shelves nice and level, I took out the laser level, which has a magnetic bracket, and I set it up on a clamp attached to the ladder. I could then slowly slide it up the clamp and line up for some more screws to keep the panels on the wall. I then slid the laser down a little so that I could line up the bottom of the long shelves so that they covered those screw heads. I did struggle somewhat trying to hold the shelf up by myself while screwing it into the wall because Jade had taken Emmett out on the bike leaving me home alone but the show must go on. Once the first screw was in though, it was smooth sailing for the rest of the screws. I used a short screw just to hold it temporarily, then replaced it with the long black screws I bought to finish the job. The second shelf was a little easier with the use of a clamp to hold one end while I screwed in the other.
I then measured the distance between the top of the shelf and the bench top and divided that distance by four so I could space out the small shelves evenly between them. I'm sure this would have worked well if I'd remembered to subtract the thickness of the bench top when marking up the wall for the shelf positions. But I didn't, so the shelves are all one bench top too high. But I'm going to class that as character and move on with my life. I started with the second shelf up on the right side of the TV for no particular reason. First setting up the laser, then holding the shelf up against the panel and zipping in a screw. I soon worked out a pilot hole would make life so much easier so instead of trying to put a screw in I marked the hole positions and made 3.5mm holes first. My long driver bit had a bit of battle damage, making it hard to get the screw in straight, so I swapped to a new short bit to start the screws and then finish them with the long one so I could get in around the brackets. I'll buy a new long one next time I'm at the hammer barn. The rest of the shells went up without too much drama, using three screws for each bracket. The last thing to do was put the TV back up on the wall, starting with the bracket. I noticed it was sitting about 50mm too high when I mounted it the first time, since the bracket didn't hold it in the centre like I foolishly assumed it would. So while it was off the wall, I moved the mounting bracket down that 50mm. I quite like this Milwaukee power ratchet. It's motorised to get the screw on quickly and becomes a manual ratchet so you don't over tighten it. They've doubled in price since I bought mine though. Also they're not a sponsor. I then slapped up the secret screw shelf and cleaned up until Jay could give me a hand with the TV. But then Sumei came to visit, which was nice. Once we'd all had a chin wag, we threw the TV up on the wall and it was mission accomplished. This is one more job I can tick off my list. And it definitely makes the house much more homely. I'm really happy with how the shelves turned out, but there's still a long way to go before the house will be finished. Come back and check out the progress if this is your thing. My content moving forward will be focused more on practical projects like this and I'm always looking for ways to improve my video presentations. Thanks for watching to the end, I really appreciate it. If you like the cut of my jib and reckon I deserve a beer for my troubles, check out my PayPal link in the description to make a one-off donation. Here's cheers. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs>